First and ten, Winnipeg. The ball at the 45 of the Eskimos. Clemens dumps it off to Nicaraki. There's also a penalty flag. The big slot back is taken out of bounds down at the Edmonton 30-yard line, but it might be called back. Holding Winnipeg number 51. The holding call against David Black, the left tackle. And that will wipe out a good gain by Nick Araki, who has been used more and more in the Winnipeg offensive scheme in recent games. When he first joined the club after being claimed from Montreal, he didn't see the ball that often. Well, you can see the holding call take place right at the bottom right of the screen. David Black, the right tackle, holding a number 88, Tom Tune. But you're talking about Iraqi. They have worked him into the offense very nicely. A little bit, add some as the season goes to get to the playoffs. He'll be the, right in the middle. Back at the midfield stripe, it is first and 20, Winnipeg. Clements will put it in the air again, or at least attempt to. He's having difficulty finding the receiver over on the sideline. He finally gets Jeff Boyd in the clear, and Boyd will have a gain of almost 16 yards. Well, again, we talked about it in the opening. Tom Clements is going to scramble around to buy time in the offensive backfield. And when he does that, those receivers know that he's not looking to run, so they come back to open areas just as Jeff Boyd did there. Boyd initially came to the Blue Bombers from Edmonton back in 1983. He and Willard Reed both joined the Blue Bombers from the Eskimos and what offensive weapons they have been for the Blue and Gold. Deep throw for Perry Tuttle, a battle for the ball, and it falls to the ground as Don Wilson was back defending. I think in the wind, that one hung up a little on Clemens. A lot longer than he wanted. They are moving into the wind, and it's going to be a factor this afternoon. Tom tried. He got the one-on-one -on -one coverage with Tuttle, and he tried to hang it up a little bit, but it got up there and just kind of hung forever and allowed the defender to recover. In fact, Tuttle had to make a big play to knock it down. 11.55 is the time remaining in a still scoreless opening quarter. Trevor Kennard will attempt to put the Blue Bombers on the board. He hasn't had a great year from outside the 40-yard line. He is less than 50%, and this will be a 47-yard kick, and that isn't going to make it. That strong south wind is going to prevent the ball from reaching the goalpost, and it's finally picked up, and no opportunity for a return, as the Bombers have that one well covered, preventing Henry the Gizmo Williams from doing his thing. That ball gets up. Perfect day for it. Yep. 